everyone welcome back to the channel and a new video you would have seen in one of the previous videos off he goes i wonder what he's up to uh we won a little car down at copart we've come down this morning there's actually nobody here just us and this guy so we're waiting for the car to come out and chris as usual is going over to the office and he's going to ask if we can have a little walk around so fingers crossed we can get that as well more on it in a minute here he comes, guys. Oh, is, is he nodding his head there? We picked a couple of cars out for him to go in there and ask if we can view. How'd you get on? Filming or... I'm filming, yeah. I'm filming. Is that all right? Yes, we can. We can have a look at a couple of bits. Kate, the Kate run the we Kate looked room. at this morning, yeah. And the IMG. Oh. Well, I haven't asked about the other stuff. I no. just thought if we... Wait till we get in there yeah. and then say yeah. just one more. Yeah. Perfect. Nice one, mate. He's getting good at this game. Sweet talking. <laughs> Let's uh, get this car loaded on and then... what they say? After we load it up, we just go over yeah. there and... Yeah. All right, lovely. in guys but what i will say is we are out in the open today so we cannot prevent any of the wind noise there is going to be a bit of wind noise but kate room seven we know chris has already got one of these and he said that's the exact same sort of damage as what his one actually had yeah you can see that chassis the, there a bit on the pedal box is there yeah i had to replace my pedal box but nice car quite a lot of fiberglass damage on it Yeah, pretty much all of the fiberglass is damaged on it. Chris has took the bonnet off with a guy now. No oil in it. Yeah, we won't start that. So it's, it's obviously got engine damage as well, guys. But a nice little car. A lot of work though. Chris had to change all the pedal box on his and some sections of the chassis, and it was a lot of work. You had, you had to make a jig for it, Chris, didn't you? Because they wasn't available. Made oh, you made a pedal box yeah, and put it in. Let me zoom out a little bit. I'm too close. Pr motors, so pretty much every bit of fiberglass has got a bit of damage on it, hasn't it? But yeah, nice car. Let's move Just on. Walking off with a guy there. Going to look at a C63 AMG, but you got to love these old Range Rovers. Again, guys, I can only apologise about the wind noise. There's a 70 plate Audi A1 there, and you can see it's had an engine fire, but that wasn't my focus. It was BMW M. It could be M4, M5. You can see the back axle there, and the rest of the car is in these pallets. We, we actually see it last time, so we got the side skirts there for it. And then in this pallet, that's all the interior. There's more interior there. I believe that pallet is for it as well. And I wonder if this engine is. No, that's not a... It possibly is, guys. There's no M cover on it, so I genuinely wouldn't know. Mercedes. There you go, so it's not for that. But there's one there, all chopped up. And again, chopped up there. And these have all been seized, obviously, from chop shops. And that's obviously the BMW, what all those bits belong to. So, have a guess, guys. What was that BMW? Was that a four series, three series? The other one's there, the other quarter panel for it. And maybe that's the rest of it, genuinely. I don't know, let's carry on. Lovely little evoke there, stolen, no damage on it. Looks really nice. Guys, check that out. Not as bad as the GLA, but pretty bad. 2016 C63 AMG. Looked like it was a beautiful car. It's just everywhere is damaged on it though, isn't it? It's got a cable tie on it, Chris. Yeah, try and try and get it undone if you can so we can have a look. Yeah, shame all round. But it's salvage and it's going to be going through the auction. I'll put the lot numbers of all these cars we're having a look at while we're walking around. If you 
I'm sure some of you guys might want to have a look online. I believe you can actually look on Copart as well without being a member. It's quite mucky in here. I think it's, it's probably been here for quite some time. Very, very nice. And it can't get it open. That's it. Oh, yeah. That's had a wallop, as they say, Chris. But very, very, very nice car. Just trying to be careful here, guys. They did say we're welcome to have a look around, but they don't want any number plates in the video, so we are trying to be quite careful. Lovely, Chris, isn't it? Easy repair, Chris? Yes. It's not as bad as no, it actually it's looks. Not, isn't it? Yeah, that's reasonably straight, that side. And that pull side, them, just pull pulled them over that yeah, way a bit. Yeah. Let's go and have a look at some more stuff. Right. Chris just come up with a brilliant idea, but it did entail me doing quite a lot of running, so I'm a little bit out of breath. They've asked for no number plates to be shown, so I've run all the way back down to the end of the lot and thought that we could just have a slow walk down this way and then hopefully it doesn't show any, but Fiat 500 a bar fare. And in a moment, we're going to be walking up lovely A1. We're going to be walking up past the C63. It's just there, you can see the bonnet. I did just ask how many vehicles there currently is on site. And three and a half thousand is an approximate just on this site. Unbelievable. Got a number plate there, fell off. There's a lot of stuff here. So much stuff. We're just going to have a walk around now and have a look at the EVs. I've got quite a large selection of them here and they keep them separate to all the other vehicles. So that will be quite nice. Just look how many cars there is here. And this is just one side. We cut there guys till we get to the EV. Check out all these EVs. This section is just for electric vehicles and there is a lot of them. We'll walk down this side. This one's got a bit of damage in the front. But guys, we all know what this is. Fingerprint dust. All over it, everywhere. And they've all got this danger electric shock written on them as well. Unbelievable. There's just so many. I'm really gutted. I can't go too crazy you know, with the camera because of the number plates, but there's a nice new Skoda there. Look how beautiful that is inside. Skoda superb. It's just rows and rows of them. There is some older EV vehicles here. Lexus. Mercedes there and a van guys there's just too many to choose from it'd be nice to see a, an i8 or one of them little BMWs there is literally just rows and rows check that out over there in the background guys Mercedes there had the roof cut off it but what I have just noticed at the corner of my eye there Tesla that's the first one we've actually seen doesn't look that badly damaged oh yeah the door's not not closing oh <laughs> didn't see the back of it there it's had a fire i've still not driven one so quite looking forward to that in the future look at these little cameras self-driving hybrid Let's walk over the other side. Guys, you may have already seen this in my sideline job. No, just kidding. An electric taxi. I didn't even know that they'd done these yet. And there's actually a few of these here. PDQ machine there. I can't show too much on it because it's still got the Hackney carriage, whatever it is, number on there still, but. Look at that. 
unbelievable now just is that an Audi no it's a Peugeot that's covered in fingerprint dust as well Let's go and look at some proper cars, see if there's any more here. Look at this, another Tesla here. Look at that damage. I think this thing's brand new. Let me just have a look. Yeah, 70 reg this, guys. 70 reg car. No i8s here guys, but a lovely little i3. And there's, as you can see just down here, there's another one, but I'm not gonna show you guys. It's too badly damaged and um, I just don't wanna show it. It's very, very bad. But this one is a 69 reg. So 2019, 20, and doesn't look like it's got any damage apart from these little scuffs and that wheel the other side. Guys, I can only apologise again. I know this video is a bit stop-start, but they've asked us not to get any of the number plates in. So we've just got to be so careful to the point where Chris keeps standing in front of them for me. But this one's actually been hit in the back, hit in the side and hit in the front. And then when you look down here, it's actually previously been repaired as well, but still quite a nice car and contaminated. So oh, yeah. it's going to have something inside that, isn't it? Swear yeah, definitely. Let's continue walking around. It's a little bit awkward. Chris hiding them for me over there again. We just spotted this as we was walking around. It's a Mark II, this one, isn't it? Yeah, Mark II Golf. Oh, I wonder if that's even a repairer. That's that one, isn't it? Yeah, no, driver. Yeah. See what though, looks in nice nick. What's the mileage? Oh, 116,000, but look, it's got the original stereo in it. Shame really, quite a nice clean car. Let's keep going. I have a black GLA 67 and nowhere near as bad as the one I've got at home. Looks like it's had a little bit there and it's blown the bonnet actuators, but there's not actually any airbag damage on this one. I think it's probably a a bigger engine car than mine. What is mine? A 200. Oh, it looks exactly the same inside. Oh, this is a 200D as well, so it is the same. No, no bag damage. He has two wheel drive as well. Yeah, a little bit down the side there, but still a very, very nice car. Guys, we're actually going to walk right over to the other side now and look at some different vehicles. Another Evoke, yeah. There is a lot of them in here, yeah. But this is the one with no damage on it, Chris, so it's obviously stolen. The mileage has popped up there, 83,000, so the battery's obviously all right. Automatic, though. You can normally tell when they're stolen because when you go into the boot, it's actually a bit, yeah, definitely a stolen one. So they rip all these covers out trying to find the tracker, but it's actually this, uh, the telematrix was this side in my car, but this is slightly different. But you can see they've had everything out searching for the tracker on the car. And it's the same, every one that you look down the auction that's been stolen, they tend to rip all this out looking for it. Oh, it doesn't have electric boot. That's why it wouldn't open. I'm still looking for that Mercedes estate in their life. Again, looks quite bad. Like when those bonnet actuators go off, they do look bad. I'm not going to open that door because the gap, so you can see someone's done it before. I'm not going to open that because it will catch, but very, very nice car. Is it? What year is it, Chris? 18. 18. I think you're going there. It will, wouldn't it? Yes. I just, do you know what? It's really awkward to video. I'm still rolling now, but look, yeah. I can't. I don't know the black one, though, really. We 
we're going right over to the other side now, guys. I'm going to give you a quick idea. Check that out. And then behind those buildings, there's more and more acres of yard. Let's get over Just there and have a look. over to the other side, guys. I see that. XKR. And then that caught my attention in the front of it. Pulse Boxster. Oh, it's so windy. I do hope that this is coming out okay. That looks nice, Chris, that, doesn't it? That is a nice car. It hasn't got much damage on it. Let me zoom out. I keep zooming in too far. The front bumper and the bonnet's missing. Obviously, the insurance company or someone's took... Oh, and the headlights, yeah. But look at this. Boxster S. Spun it out. This is lovely, this is. Ah, oh, the keys are in it. See if it says runs and drives on it. Ready? Let's crouch down here, guys, because of the wind noise. Oh, look at that! That sounds nice. I don't know how good that would come out on camera, guys, but... Wow! Wait, that sounds incredible. 61. It's not bad on the miles, is no, it? No, it's not. I like that interior. Yeah, brown and muscle, you say? Oh. Unusual, isn't it? Yeah, it is very unusual. I know you can't rev it up because it's it obviously on choke, it. but give it... Just tap it a little bit. Oh, that sounds nice. Choke's gone off now. Oh, it's quiet now, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, better turn it off, mate, in case it's uh, because the radiators are down here on these cars, aren't they? Or down, the... I don't know where they are, but that wheel is knocked off, so we don't want to run it too long just in case. What a lovely car! That sounded awesome. Right, there's the uh, lot number there for the Porsche if you wanted to look it up. Not really sure what the story is with this one, but it doesn't appear to be any damage on it. The lot number's written in crayon there, 36182791X. But doesn't look like there's any damage, but looking a bit further, it's had a lot of stuff. She's a flooder. Is it? Yeah, I can smell it. Can you? Yeah. So this one's water flood. They've obviously started stripping it out to dry it. I can't see any lines drawn on it though, Chris. They used to draw a water line on them. Yeah, look, all the carpet's in the boot. Yeah. Definitely. All right, carpet's soaked. Mind you, having the boot open in this weather probably don't help. C300, very, very nice car. Easy repair. Yeah, and it says runs on it as well. That's one to keep an eye on. Ram packed in so tight, guys, it's really hard for me to show. But again, another stolen Range Rover Sport, I reckon. Had a look round it. Got the keys with it and it's got no damage on it at all. Really, really nice car, but it's got it's got no power, so we can't actually open the boot, but that's, yeah. Same old scenario. I've actually cut a hole in that one looking for it. And can you see all that down there, guys? All stripped out, looking for that telematrix unit or the tracker. They've pulled all this side panel out here. These, even up there, look, the C-pillar posts, everything's been pulled out. It's been sat for quite a while, this one. But yeah, no damage. Let me just make sure I've got no number plates in there, guys. Oh, there is a bit of damage on it there, look. But, yeah, definitely, definitely stolen. 2018 Audi RS5. Current bid, Chris? 17,000 pounds. Guys, this has got some naughty damage on it. It looks perfect from there, doesn't it? Let's get a little bit closer and I'll take you around the other side of it. Hopefully it's open. Look at that in there. That is beautiful. Chris, that's a naughty bit of damage, isn't it? Get down yeah, mate, that is serious, serious bit of work there. 
head ache, that's not you can see how far that's punched that up that's a serious impact that is guys look it's bent the fuel tank snapped the fuel tank out what category was it s obviously S, yeah, cat S. Yeah. would you want to repair that i mean we would wouldn't we but well the door went to open guys but look at that gap it's actually overlapped such a shame beautiful car beautiful car they are lovely aren't they? yeah i've just been in it the other Inside. side that's the old lamborghini yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. sorry yeah. mate no it's all right let's move right. this 430 diesel it was the back damage i didn't understand no keys it's obviously had one in the front but check this out what's that all about maybe fire brigade trying to get to the battery i know one thing definitely the old mice have got in now look at that they've eaten that's the foam out of the seats that is unbelievable mustang gt someone's going to kick me for that i don't even know if it's a gt it might be one of them little eco boost ones which everyone laughs at why build a car like that and make it a little 1600 or whatever they are 2017 bit of damage on it there guys is the front end unhurt chris I'll tell you why I ask, because the key's here. Oh, sorry, I've got my cam going over the camera. I'm trying not to cut here, guys. Oh, it's keyless. That's, uh... Oh, yeah. Eco Boost. Yeah, that's a... Sounds toy, like a hairdryer. Toy one, it's right? a toy one. We'll leave that. We pass the main office here. Look at that. 70 plate. Brand new van. I, I can't understand. I've just had a little quick walk around it. It is a proper nice model. Transporter, parking sensors, fogs, alleys. That's the damage. Surely it's not going to be written off for that, is it? It is a brand new automatic van. Look at that. And like I say, Got a little ding in it there and that damage that is all that's on it new land rover guys an old defender here it does say do not touch though so we're not actually going to touch it there is the lot number and i'm sure it'll be in 06 land rover defender so it's 2006 looks like it's been standing a very long time like i said guys i'm not even going to open it up just make sure it's has not got no there's no number plate on it actually stand back here there's a bit of a gap so looks quite a tidy old thing really and it's got gas shocks on it and springs so it's had a few bits done to it <clears throat> like i say guys a lot numbers there if you want to look that up oh i mentioned this guys by here look at this exactly the same as ours it's had some repairs done on it exactly the same look at that old beauty guys that's lovely that is the old column change on it how beautiful Let's shut that properly it's had a bit of paint but lovely old car i'm not even gonna lie guys i have no idea what it is i know it's a mercedes obviously 65 mercedes 220 it says white on there and it's it's actually cream but lovely old thing down to have a look at the uh, caravans and the motorhomes guys look at the space they said yeah you got no chance everything sells like hotcakes that is beautiful don't know what the story is with it could be stolen might have a little bit of damage on it but very very nice van
Yeah, there's no damage on that, so it's probably a theft recovered one. It's just leaning here. It's got the keys of it as well. It's not brand new. Bathroom. Very, very nice. It may be a private entry, but beautiful nevertheless. Only a little bit of damage on that one, guys. Just looks like it's ripped ripped the seal off there and put a bit of a dent and a graze in it. But again, this is real, real late 2014. And mind you, if I'm looking at them stickers there. I'm going to be miles out, aren't I? I know they've got a tag on them, so we'll have a little look. That's just the weight of it there. This one's quite dirty, so I will stand inside it. Look how lovely that is. Full size double bed. Toilet. And a nice size shower. Lovely. Another stolen brand new motorhome, guys. What a shame. It's done 5,000 miles. I just had a little look around it and made myself familiar before I cut in. But you can see it's got a garage on it. But that's actually not the case. Let's wait till we get inside. Look, they've dug all this out, ruined all the locks. As soon as you open the door, fingerprint dust everywhere. You get a woofed of how new this is in here. But it's got no major damage around it. Roller team, honestly beautiful. Ah, oh, look, false bin. So it's had a false bin number put in it. So it's, it's not. I need this in my life. That in that a shame that garage door. So guys, look. Trouble is, because it's stolen, they obviously just didn't care about it. But look at all this; it is brand new. That there, Chris, yeah. this comes down. Was it? It's actually a double bed. Yeah, so literally oh, the whole so thing. Nice. Yeah, the whole yeah, thing yeah, drops yeah, yeah. down. Yeah. So you can see there, guys. That's actually a, a large bed, and it drops down in those runners. It's all still on in here. Look, yeah. got any beers in there? Mm -hmm. We don't drink, Rob. They're still cold in there and the freezer at the bottom, but this am I zoomed out as far as I can get? That's what's happened there, guys. So that shouldn't have that layout. That shouldn't be like that either. This bed should actually be up, up to the windows, yeah. Yeah. just above that garage. Can you yeah, see where they've un yeah. they've unscrewed it all there? Yeah. And actually moved the bed down. Because yeah. you can see you've got the garage floor there. Yeah. Got all the pumps missing out of it, Chris. What a shame. Yeah, no, this was brand new. Still got the TV in it. Just being nosy now, just having a little look. Isn't it lovely, Chris? Yeah, it's a proper thing, isn't it? This will be big, big money. It's a sh it is a shame, guys. They've broken quite a lot of stuff on it, but they even broke the door off that. But you just don't, you don't know what happens with things like this. Someone may have bought this in good faith, but it would still belong to the insurance company. So when they get it back, they have to try and recoup their money. But why anyone would want to do, like destroy all of this stuff is unbelievable. Let's get back as far as we can and try and get a wide angle of it. What, what a lovely thing. Still got the blanket on it there, on the bed. Shall we be a little bit nosy and see if we can get it to come down? I don't actually know what one it's going to be. B1? Let's not touch it. Right, guys. I think that's going to be enough for today. Guys, unfortunately, we have took up quite a lot of their time today. We've had to have a, is it a chaperone, you call it? Yeah. Walking around with us. So, unfortunately, I'm not going to get to walk up and down all of... I've covered that, Chris. We're not... Oh, yeah. Brand new, though. Yeah. We're not going to get a chance to walk up and down all of the bikes. So, I just thought I'd just show you a shot of quite a lot of the bikes that they've got in stock here for auction. And uh, there's a few outside, but like I say, I think we're... Uh, they want us to leave now, so... That is I got it. Quite lucky there, guys. I'm going to keep it short because the video is already quite long. 
but we got really lucky there. Chris doing his uh, sweet talking again, and I was quite happy to have us in. They got us a chaperone, walked us round, and as you could see, there was some lovely bits there. Again, I know I said I was gonna get into the codes and categories and etc., but we will save that for a later video because genuinely it is already a nice long one. So I hope you did enjoy that. And if you do, let us know in the comment section. And of course, we will try and do it again. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, turn on your notification bell, follow us on Instagram for some little sneak peeks and check out the merchandise. The link is in the description and we'll see you later in the next one.